Hey everyone, I just want to say this was my tournament I held on August 25th and it was a one one tournament with my community and I wanted to upload it to YouTube so I'm actually just going to put all the games into one video because the tournament was, uh, I mean, relatively short but long enough where I think splitting it up would be a little problematic. So I don't know, I think one video is just fine and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try to do these tournaments monthly. And the co-caster that helped me co-cast is that Nick Walker, who is a mod for my Twitch channel. They are dancing in the mid lane, waiting for the minions to come together. What are we expecting here in builds? Um, I I don't know. I, I'm expecting auto attack build from Soul. Probably going to be the Bancrofts later on. That's always good on her. Looks like she opted for Gilded Arrow. I like that again because me mannequins too. later on will count Ooh, as an defense. aggressive jump and axe. But it looks like they're going to get out. Oh, God bless. You can lower the walls on this map. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, sick. <laughs> on the other map, like the the Jade Corruption, they actually forgot to put that in for the map. <laughs> Looks like Elder's going to uh, be able to sneak this red buff. I don't know how much good it's going to do because early Saul is going to clear this wave pretty quick. Well, he gets the buff. I think he's going to make it. I think that's good for him. Getting red buff's fine. As long as he doesn't take too much damage here. Ooh, Miss Knight is not good. quite a bit. Yeah. I wonder if Soul's going to try to steal this blue buff, possibly. That'd be good. Get some extra golden, golden stuff after clearing the wave. I don't know. He's playing pretty far back in tower right now. I don't know what's going through their head. But... Ooh, getting those last hits on Gilded Arrow. Love to see it. Always. <laughs> I love Gild Gildera so much. We're getting some poke on the tower to keep up the heat gauge on Sol. How many? Oop, jumping in. Hits the axe. Oh, Aegis on the ult. Looks good. Nice, Aegis. Uh, that was aggressive. That was so aggressive. With Who so has the advantage mana. late game? I want to say Sol. I really dislike Uller late game. I think he falls off at level 17. Uh, I absolutely believe a Saul is going to outbox a Uller every time he misses his axe. I think it depends. Uh, definitely depends on the players because Uller's like crazy good at higher levels. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'd say, I'd, I'd say it depends. Yeah, Saul definitely has has been insane in, in duel lately, and she's got a good early. She's got a good late game. Uh, if she goes the right build, yeah, I'd say Saul has some good stuff, but. Uh, I'm not going to count out Uller just because, I mean, Uller's pretty insane with the combo, but you got to land the axe. A good Uller is scary, but Sol is just a little more highly uh, highly tuned right now in the meta. Oh, uh, Nick, can you... mages are crazy. What's can up? you do a favor for me? Can you start Absolutely. a prediction? Because I'm actually logged out of Twitch. I can't do that anymore <laughs> okay. until I get my phone tomorrow because my phone broke. I'll open That's... up Mod View real quick. Thank you, Nick. Just have it, uh, Professor Cerberus versus Salsa Dragon 6. Luckily, no one has died. Thor also said they can make a uh, it. Well, all right. Thor, do you just want to make the rest? Sick Gandhi says, minion lives matter. Stop killing minions. I don't know if that joke is in the best of taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Probably not Sikandi. Nothing really surprising from these builds coming out. It's about what we would expect. I do like the shell on the Sol because well, maybe not. If you get if you get axed, you do not have time to activate that shell. If she could use it beforehand, or if at low health. But again, she doesn't have Bancrofts. I love shell combined with Bancrofts because then you get the the power without being so risky mm -hmm. and you can heal through the sh through the health shield where you're going to be gaining health while you're technically not taking damage yeah this tower is getting poked down it's we're only four minutes in it's almost half health we're missing that one definitely not good uh nope. he needs to get his transcends online pretty soon uh because once he once he gets the stacks on that that helps uller out a ton Obviously, I believe we know which uh, starter item the Sol is going to be upgrading into. Oh, damn. What an alt coming out from the Sol. Early damage going crazy. He still had 10 seconds on his Aegis. He falls level 9. 
Good first blood. Good first blood. Do you think he's going blue corrupted? Wow, wow, we're just taking this oh, tower. Taking it, yeah. Oh, but dies. Oh. <laughs> we call that the instant recall. Yeah, yeah, she's just saving time right now. I don't know why the minimap disappeared. <laughs> uh, Lorenzo, I would put a screenshot in Turney General, and one of our mods will be able to take care of this for uh, the seating, right? I actually put it in match results. Oh, match results, I'm sorry. Yeah, just put it in match results, and then a mod will move you one shot. Reese, the coach, he's the one who got Saul to take the tower. Look at that poke. And the Alder's just walking away. Pretty safe. Yeah, he is a level down. He, he, if he fights, he wants to fight at a distance. Play it a little safe, you know. We go back to items. Let's look at the items. Did finish Transcendence. Shaman's ring. For Hecate. Oh, I forgot the sorry. <laughs> they have the same art, honestly. I still Do they? The I don't remember. Whatever. The, the the art is like really similar. I guess not the same, but Thor, we have quite a few mods who are hanging out. Or at least people who are doing tourney moving. Yeah, I, I did get a lot more today, which is good. <laughs> you know, this uh ring of Hatak. Uh, Ring of Hecate is going to be good into Uller, who's going to be building power. That percent power increase is going to be really, really strong. Oh, I yeah. I think we need to get some lifesteal online pretty soon. The uh, Hecate is not going to be enough. Amazing. Yeah, it has a little bit of lifesteal, but it's not like that like that good, like you were saying. I another, definitely like Bancrofts, you know? Another jump into the soul, only for her to alt to keep herself safe. If she keeps doing that, she's going to be really, really safe this whole matchup. Yeah, good counter alts. I usually like beads against Uller, but if you if you can get those counter alts, I mean, like we can see, you don't really need it. It, it is pretty fun how aggressive the leaps have been. It's They're going in, they're trying to kill you just like this. They're landing their combo, and if they landed at three, that would have been really strong. Yeah, that was a that was pretty good damage from Uller right there, yeah. but uh, Professor Cerberus had the, had the immunity at the very end there. I was bringing this up earlier. Let's say we get to level 20. What upgrade for Bluestone do you think this Uller is going into? Um, I would oh actually God. say maybe Corrupted. Maybe Corrupted. And oh, Corrupted could make... Uh, we're not going to include Corrupted for the rules, dude. The Because the, it's so weird. It actually gives you in, increased percent protections. Yeah, no, that doesn't count. Yeah, no... I don't I don't want people pulling out a calculator to just play in the tournament. <laughs> oh, but actually. But I actually think yeah, corrupted uh could be good against soul specifically because it does have a tax speed reduction. Mm -hmm. Um if she goes health, then the other one, but I don't think she's gonna have that much health. So yeah, I, I think corrupted is more likely. We all know she's going Diamond Arrow late game. Ooh, misses her two and oh, gets yeah. axed. She gets the whole combo there. It doesn't land any ticks on her all. A little unfortunate, but she's still the one who's winning this matchup. Let's look at the XP and gold difference. Yep, 1,199 gold difference. 344 XP. This is oh, about what that. Uller is going to get his power spike, though. He's getting all of his points in his one and three, I would presume. He's going he's gonna to plateau here pretty soon. We can actually check. He has maxed his one. He's got some points in his three. Yeah. He's also leveling up the alt as well. Two points in the alt. I love leveling the alt as Uller. It is some good passive damage increases. I think so too. I think it's pretty worth. I know some people who will put no points into the alt the whole game. Like, well, until they're forced to. Souls good leveling luck up the on your match, standard. Alleyway bot and Thor. It sounds very exciting. Yes, good luck. Again, feel free to play until uh, semifinals. How odd. I don't I don't know why, but Saul did immune her way into this fight, into the mid-wave over here. She still has seven seconds on her cooldown before she can do anything. But yeah, here I don't, comes I don't know. the two. <laughs> She's just poking him out of Phoenix. Yeah, it is a little risky using your only type of mobility to just get there, but... She's pretty far ahead at this point. She's pretty safe. She's got a lot of healing. Yeah. Um, and I would actually... Yeah, I would love to see a Brawlers from Uller. Ooh, Damn, look at that damage. damage. We got so an Igaval coming on the Uller. That's going to be a lot of power. What a bloated item right now. Yeah, I... 
I personally hate Ichabol. It's perfect for this matchup, though. Lowers her attack speed by how much is it? 30% or something like that? Uh, uh, 21%. No, 21%. Yeah. It's it's a good item. It's a really good item. She has a huge amount of power. Again, you guys, if you want to use Tourney General for setting up matches, that might be uh, uh, better than using Twitch chat. Really quick, I'm going to look into this prediction. We've got it 85 to 15 on Professor Cerberus. It's it's looking pretty decided. I would hate to discount this Uller because they're landing their axes, but this matchup is just going to keep getting harder and harder for him as the game goes on. If he gets up Brawlers online, it could help with some poke. Well, we got a also... mid-guardian mail. That will be Soul's one and only defense item. I don't think Midgardian's insanely good against Uller, but he is a hunter, so, uh, so why not, right? Maybe it's for the chase down, landing the, landing the whole combo. She's gonna slow him down with the Midgardian and just chase him down with either her two or some autos. But and here is the Demon King play. Does Uller know about it? He does. He He's does. leaping it's in. Warded. Oh, she's Actually, giving I, up I, I the safe option. I didn't even see the ward. That's funny. <laughs> no, it's all good. I was just, I was just commentating along. <laughs> it's just funny because I'm like, does he see it? It's like there's obviously a ward. <laughs> Let's look at the items again. Uh, yeah, she's pretty poked out. She's at half health, but she can definitely fight because the one, yes. the the soul one heals you based on how much health you're missing. So the lower health you are, the more it heals you. Which is insanely also, good. Also, the very minuscule amount of life steal from that ring ahead Hikate is going to keep her strong. He jumps in again, and again she answers with an ult. Very safe. He ages is it, but that he's she's just burning his ages. That's 180 seconds. While oh, I can't see her ult cooldown right now, but it's probably something like 70 seconds. Let's see. Yeah, uh, 90 seconds right now, but 75 currently. I don't know. I think she if. If he keeps leaping in and she ults and he aegises, that's a win for Saul. Yeah, I actually think at this point, I don't know if Uller should be leaping in at all. Um, I agree. Um, he like he doesn't have defense. He's super squishy. He's not going to one combo. Her. That's when you want to leap in on Uller, when you can one shot them, right? Uh, but right now he cannot. He's not going to be able to for a while. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. What makes you... What? Wow, why do you think this Uller is skipping his defense? Why aren't we seeing his Shoguns for the cooldown and attack speed? What do you think? He might be saving it for a late game upgraded starter item. I don't know. Oh no, well, he has bluestone. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know. I, I would love to see anything. A uh, bulwark, a pestilence, a talisman, Genji. Any, anything. Genji Ooh, Shoguns. Talisman. There's so many good magical defense items for ADCs, and we're not seeing anything from him here. Now, this is a mindset that a lot of dual players have that I don't share, actually. Uh, and that is, if you're behind, you should maybe, if you're, like, really far behind, you should skip your defense. I've heard that from some top players. I don't necessarily agree with it. I think defense keeps you alive and keeps you in the game. Yeah. So, uh, maybe that's what he's thinking. He's thinking, I'm behind. I need, I need damage to one shot. And maybe that's what they're trying to go for. Dang, lots of hope coming out. A jump, she ults already. He just needed to land that axe. I think he could have done a lot of damage, but he's yeah. still so weak in his Phoenix right now. Souls, both of her relics are down right now, though. I mean, I guess all relics are down, but hers are down for a while. So if she dives Phoenix and he lands an axe with her and Phoenix, that could be could be really good. Hi, Lucy. It's me, Nick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm the cat. I should have a caster command. Uh, yeah, Nick is casting with me. He has the the voice of a golden god. My nose is so stuffed. <laughs> I do not <laughs> sound that great today. <laughs> Your microphone quality is really good. It is very expensive. I love you too, Lucy. Thank you. I'm trying to poke out on the Sol instead of clearing the wave. I think the other just needs to play safe, get some XP. I do love that Yotens though. Oh, he did go for Yotans instead of Brawlers. Uh, you know, I she like doesn't have Bang Frost. Yeah, I actually think it's fine. I, I almost always oh, anticipate. Wow, this going. is going to be a lot of damage. Damn, he gets it. 
a greedy play to get the Phoenix, but she took three or four Phoenix shots this early. I mean, yeah, I, level 17. I, I would say that while losing... Oh, that was weird, Spectator. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, while losing Phoenix is awful, right? And yeah. usually it is worth it to die to get Phoenix. Uller did kind of need that. He did kind of need a kill in order to get his build online, get some more XP, get some more gold. So I actually think he was going to lose the Phoenix anyways. Hey, it's great. You got a kill out of it, right? Yeah, he got a kill. He got a tower and he's getting a wave without any pressure being put on him. This is a win for him. Yeah. Um, we are starting also, to see some lifesteal coming out on the Sol here. Yep, I'm expecting it, is. it to be a Typhons instead of a Bancrofts if I had to be, if I, if I was a betting man. Hmm, let's see. Hakata gets 15 lifesteal. It could. Uh, that would give a 30 extra power with the Typhons passive. I think Bancrofts on its own would be a little bit more power, but Typhons does give 10% 10. You know, not have think about it. Yet. Actually, Bancrofts might be a little more power because... The more this Uller doesn't build defense, the less the soul needs pen. Honestly, that, yeah. the demonic ring could have been another more powerful ring. I would hate to tell someone to, be, to build Payson because I hate that item, but Payson <laughs> might do a little more damage here. Yeah, I'd say that uh, build-wise, uh, solid soul build. I would only, the only thing I would do differently is at, at Bancrofts, but uh, yeah, everything's good. Against no defense, Loaded yeah, you could have probably skipped the demonic. Focusing Just Titan here? For that Titan. Yeah. That's a Half lot. Help. And now this... back to when old, old Soul Three used to stun if you were standing on the dynamite trail. Oh my God, She's that going was awful. Damage. Ooh, good axe land though. Beads coming out of Soul. She's healing off those minions. This is, it's her game to lose right now. She keeps keeping this pressure. She could keep poking down the Titan. Yeah, that Titan is is oh good axe. Oh that. He needs to get this. All. He needs it. He gets it. Kills there it is. Okay, let's let's look at things. The Phoenix is coming up pretty soon. Titan is at a quarter health. When this Fe oh, is, what is he doing? Is he going for Demon King? I don't think he gets that Demon King. Maybe in his axe stance with the life steal he can get some, but I don't know. I, I have two thoughts here. If he does get this and the fire minions, you know, don't kill his his Titan, then Soul cannot go for Demon King. And he I can agree. defend his Phoenix really well. But he needs it back right now. These minions. Uh, these minions yeah. are doing a lot of damage. You need a recall. No XP cap. <laughs> Damn. And even so, yes, he has Demon King. Soul can't go for Demon King. But uh, this Phoenix is going to spawn with very little health. So he needs to he needs to make this defend a good one. This is interesting. Oh no, fire are minions. These, these phoenixes these oh, no. fire minions are gonna get it. Oh, they're getting they're getting shuffled oh. by that one. They just barely saves it. Ability has... is making the minions uh quake and not attack is pretty powerful. Yeah, oh my goodness. We do see a Aussie coming out. He's going to be able to box her now. He needs to kill the Oh, she should be defending this fire wave. This was her chance. Damn. She's ulting the wave. He jumps in. He needs to land that axe. He misses it. I missed it. I think she gets out. I think she she should put a fire trail if she has it up. That was insanely good for the Uller. Like, I cannot describe how good that is. He is back in this game, and he is actually a level ahead now. She's low health. Ooh, good juke. She's healing. She's healing out through this. She's life stealing, taking his power from his transcendence and Jotun's. This boxing match might be closer than I thought. Wow. Yeah. That was a juke insanely good insanely good for both players there soul does get away uh uller i he his phoenix lived with like one hp oh my goodness that that axe may have been the game if he landed that yeah because he did have demon king uh or if not the game at least it would have turned it so much uh into his favor you know but now demon king servers, please do not gone. spoil any results we are still watching your match oh yeah Oh yeah, if we're expecting your match, please do not uh, say. It is very, very exciting though. This is a good match to watch. Oh. Professor Cerberus. Just said oh. Amazing. Um, is she gonna go for it? Is Titan She's going for it. I don't think she, she got it. She backdoors for the W. Unfortunately, backdooring is a valid strat and there is a counter to it and quite frankly if you place a ward in that little area 
you can see if your opponent goes for a backdoor and they didn't see it coming so that is how the game ends victory for haggard's toes yeah victory victory for uh professor cerberus <laughs> is that the clad you're in jetta the haggard toes that's great the bands are in top left and top right if you guys want to see them i am gonna make them disappear in a little bit you don't have oh yeah because you were a late sign up uh let me let me give that to you <laughs> i should i really shouldn't allow late sign ups or not yeah. late sign ups but uh you know or can at you least... type in attorney general what the heck we got some <laughs> camaraderie going on in the lane right now between the Ymir <laughs> and the Uller. I don't know if they know each other. I don't know if it's respect for the craft of both of these duelists, but it is now beginning. We'll look, two autos on the Ymir, chunking down his HP. Pretty, some pretty standard starts, except this mannequins on the Uller. God, look at that early uh, Ymir Big damage. damage. Can you get the wall too? Nah, that's okay. I actually hate playing Ymir in this matchup, but he still has a chance as long as he's able to juke and, and such. Why do you think Hawkins win mannequins? Do you think I'm missing something with this item? Because I don't think it's very strong on Uller. Um, I, I, mean, I think it's fine. I think, I think mannequins is insanely strong. It does mean he is foregoing a defense item completely. Look at oh. that beat. He gets the turnaround. The shell is so strong. But the Frostbite has worn off on the Ymir. His two is still down, I believe. He's going to be able to live. They both get each other's relics. But that Ymir, that freeze is going to be up real soon. Yeah, that was a nice little juke from Ymir that he did. He made it look like he was going through the middle of the buff area. And then when Uller leaped, he immediately turned around. And it gave him enough distance to make it out. That was nice. I, I have decided. I think I know why Hawkins got that mannequins. I think he's going to go for an early Demon King. That, that mannequin oh. is going to do plenty of damage. I think that's a good idea. It's very possible. It's risky. I like it. Uh, but yeah, again, Fortified, can you type in, any, honestly, any Discord chat, just regular general, and I can give you the tourney roll so you can uh, so you can participate like the way everybody else is. Or I guess you might be in the signups, huh? I can do that. Um, yeah, Hawkins is taking these camps pretty quickly with very little power. Okay, I did it. I did it. You have the roll now. Sorry about that, you guys. We're back. All right, we're good. All right, there is a 200 gold difference. I don't exactly know uh, where it came from, but it's looking pretty good. We got the T2 of the ring on Ymir. Which ring do you think he's starting with? Ooh. I think it could be... Well, I, normally I, I start Demonic, right, if I'm, if I'm doing something like this. But because Uller has... Ooh, that was <laughs> so close. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for I, it. I would go for this. This. Oh, never mind. That Let's was pretend that didn't happen. That was a whiff, Hawkin. It's okay. Uh, I can't um, touch this. That is one of my favorite copy pastas. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I normally I would go demonic, but because he has tier one mannequins, it means either that is going to become Uller's defense item, or uh, he's not going to get a different starter item. So maybe Uller, um, you know, might want to. Go something else like i, I excuse me uh ymir might want to go something else he could go a hecate he could go a but well, I, I don't know about those guys but hecate i, I think could i think good. hecate into Oler is good be, but yeah this is a strange matchup because we don't have a transcendence at level one on Oler right now so it's true this might this might be a direct counterplay go in with expectations and take advantage of them and this Oler can win this matchup Absolutely, and Uller is going Ikaval, which means that Ymir needs a lot of attack speed, and Demonic does give a ton of attack speed anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just, just going the ring in general, so I think, is a good good idea here. Otherwise, uh, if you don't have attack speed on Ymir, and you're against Ikaval, your damage gets lowered by so much, because most of Ymir's damage comes from uh, boxing with the autos. Especially that first wave. I don't know how many times I've seen you kill someone first wave in a dual match. We get both ults out. Well, all their ults is already back up. <laughs> Ooh, this is anyone's fight right cloak. now. <gasps> Ooh. 
Damn, I, I think that I think you should have been safer oh. with that leap, but you're gonna get that with an auto. <gasps> he misses his one. Gamir has no the, mana though. The minions are giving him uh sight, and there's first blood against the G Money 243. I think if Ymir had more more mana, he possibly could have could have gotten the kill, but he was just so low on mana that even hitting the freeze didn't mean anything. Mm. And it, it was he was just in the minion wave. It was just un, unfortunate all around. Good stuff from both players though. I agree. Those those minions giving Hawkins the vision is very, very unfortunate. And it looks like he is going into that transcendence, so that ring of Hecate is gonna be in favor for the Ymir. I think so too. And I also think Ymir should start his defense item pretty soon as well. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but like you said, because Uller has mannequins, he should be warding uh, Demon King. Like, even this early, like, Uller can burst that pretty fast. 500 gold lead on the, the order side. What defense item do you think this Ymir is going into? What a perfect leap over that freeze. Ooh. Ooh He's getting in his head. This matchup's difficult for Ymir, man. When I play Ymir, I ban Uller for a reason. Oh, that is, that is, you hate to see it. We got our T1 breastplate on Ymir. It must be going into, sorry, I can't Breast... speak, breastplate. Yeah, breastplate of Valor, I think, I think so. That's a good item. Need to cool down on those freezes. There is a two level gap here right now. Oh, which is really look at unlucky. The... What a taunt. He's like, hey, <laughs> look, recalling. I can do this. Can you? Throwback. Guys, I miss when uh, Breastplate of Valor had 700 mana. Just saying. If only what an experienced if... duelist. He knew when that freeze was coming out. He pre-beads it. And here's going to be an early Demon King like we were expecting. Yeah, the, the second Uller leap there, I think uh, Ymir should have tried ulting or like putting a wall between him and Uller and then ulting. And uh, that would have given him a little bit of distance, a little bit of damage. Uh, but unfortunately, that did not happen. With Demon King going down this early, this is really bad for the Ymir. Uh, the most he can hope for is a few missed axes and maybe just some, some burst damage out of the auto cancels and stuff. But I think this Phoenix is going to fall. The question is, will Titan fall too? I don't know. Leaps the freeze again. Mike was trying to be... Oh, I don't think that ult is going to do a whole lot. Yeah, when he ults, he has to put a wall between him and Uller to prevent a lot of the auto damage. If he doesn't do that, then it's it's you only want to use it for at least the CC immunity. He is going to get some poke on this Phoenix. I don't think he's going to 100% take it, but that's going to be a chunk of poke. Yeah, Phoenix Titan right fall. now. Phoenix has got that uh, those backdoor protections, so it's only taking half damage from autos, so that's good for Ymir. I think Ymir Ooh, needs to play a he little does not more he No, gets no, no. The autos. He's good. Can he land it? He needs... That there so he good. goes. He, he waited this time. He waited for Uller to leap. Uller tried predicting the freeze, but Ymir was like, nah, I'm patient. As, and as that transcendence gains its stacks, he gets power. That Hekate is going to steal that power right back. Yeah, Hekate increases your power by 5%, reduces your opponent's power by 5%. So reducing Uller's power by percentage, always good. Uh, stacks three times. Just, just also, good, good stuff. Power? Yeah. 90 it's power? Yeah. It's a nice Gee, Willikers. Willikers. I don't build it every game if only because you only get the stacks if you hit the enemy god. Mm -hmm. And uh, also because, like, let's say this matchup specifically, uh, it can be a little bit hard to land autos on Uller, but that's really when the, you want to take the fight, right? Otherwise, you just want to kind of keep your distance. We got a tussle at red buff right here. I think, ooh, he gets it with his two. I think Uller could have stolen it, but... Let me go back. I don't to know. He, he got killed once. He needs to understand the power of Ymir. Maybe, maybe he's got the dive into tower. <laughs> if he that gets an so axe. Risky. Oh man. Oh, he's he's dead. I w that was a lot of tower damage right there. That was almost half his health. I, I listen. I love the aggressive play style, but when you're behind, you're behind against Uller, and he's all pretty much out of freeze range. I don't think you chase. Also, that sprint, I think he was barely in freeze range, and Hawken popped sprint, which got him just out of it. 
Uh, but even if he was in freeze range, I think that was a little too aggressive from the Ymir, unfortunately. I just think this shows you, this is someone who knows this matchup into Ymir. They're throwing the axes, they know right when to jump. It's... These are two duelists who know what they're doing. Ooh, if Ymir was a little bit closer to land a couple more autos when he was frozen, that would have been nice, but he was not, unfortunately. Ow. Does, does clear the wave. It's super important duel. If you're going to die is. anyways, you clear the wave. Yeah, he cannot take Man, this Phoenix so because of that. Clearing that wave was so important. Um, I mean, he might get Phoenix anyways, but uh, at least it's not Titan dying, you know what I mean? I agree. It is six to one. He is up. I don't want him to do the math, actually. Let's pretend I wasn't going to bring up the gold difference. <laughs> here, here, I could just... <laughs> where is it? We have Look technology, that. See Nick. See that? Uh, 1834. <laughs> I did that in my brain. Yeah. This is a bit of a risky uh, demon game. It is. It is, because he's low health, and Ymir's wall can lock him in this arena. Yeah. So He's ready <laughs> yeah. with the movement speed and leap. Oh, no. You're, you're taking too much damage, bud. Let's see the wall. No blink on the Ymir. Oh, he just gets it. <laughs> he gets it. He could, he was consigned to that fate. That was too risky. Ymir, Ymir did that well. Basically said, hey, you're taking Demon Cow. I'll let you take it. You know, it will let you take some damage from that. And then when Uller tried to run, he walled off his only escape. Good stuff. That was, it was a good play. Uh, that's definitely going to be a Bancroft's coming out. This Ymir is fighting at low health for a long time. That should be a Bancroft's talent coming out. I agree. I agree. This isn't exactly the order of items I would have purchased, but it's still probably the same build I would have gone. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's pretty solid overall. He's just really behind in, in uh, gold still. Ouch. That's kind of the problem. Lots of poke. He's mitigating he, a lot right now. Yeah, he needs to go back to base. <laughs> oh, no, this is it. This, yeah, this might be this might be Phoenix. Oh, and, sorry. Or, Phoenix no, is already down. Ignore yeah, me. Yeah, that might be game. <laughs> uh, is it? That's only 20 seconds. He is fast as hell, though. Keep in mind, this is a hunter, and this is a hunter with mannequins. Oh, I don't, oh, let's see. That, let's see. That's a Hydra's coming out. I was expecting a Heartseeker. Because because even if Titan gets to, like, a quarter health, that's pretty much... It's really difficult to defend against that, you know? A it is a wall. half health. Good wall, yeah. I don't know. I, I, don't see, I don't see Ymir defending this. These fire minions are doing damage. Two level difference. You're at half health, and your fountain's right there. I would, I don't know what I would do in this situation. I might be it's, just consigned. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. Because yeah. how how do you kill the minions when you're so low? How do you how do you stop them? You know, because you're I think such that a might just be close game. range character. I think it is too. There's the beads. He's the just dancing. Wave. He's letting these fire minions do damage. GG, everyone. That is a wick a victory for my lovelies against Pasta Kings. <laughs> yeah, that's a it's a it's a tough matchup for you, Bear. There was some there's some cool stuff in the game. Uh but yeah, tough matchup overall. GG's Back all camp, You played great. I loved your build. I think a little more patience. That would have been really, really close. Yeah, you, you had some good freezes where you outweighed the Uller leap and then you went for it, you know? But that Uller also had some some great leaps. Indeed. Yeah, I think I agree, Thor, but a, a well-placed uh, alt from the Amazon Cobb, I think, can really shut down and pin down this Apollo. They both have the same start minus a multi-potion, and we don't have a relic coming out on the Chaos side yet. Hey, how's it going, Bio? I think they both got a uh, shell. They just switched yes. the relic order for whatever reason. Um Late game, if they want to upgrade this mannequins, that will count as their single defense. So well, we'll see. Uh, tier one mannequins does not count as defense. So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. They're trading Box. autos here in the mid lane. Yeah, boxing in the hive. Ooh, this is probably this not is great. Risky. We keep, we keep landing those bees. That's going to be a disarmed Apollo. Mm -hmm. Wait, does a, does AMC still do that? I don't remember. Yes, if you land, does. if you keep the B status on someone, I believe for four seconds or three seconds, they become disarmed. I forgot about that change. That was a long. It time doesn't ago. happen very often. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice, nice red buff damage. Is he yeah, going to commit to it? Yeah, that mannequin is going to do it. Yep. 
does commit. That is a huge, huge damage uh, spike in a hunter versus hunter matchup because your auto scales so hard with physical power. That Amazon Cobb, he went for the multi potion instead of the mana. He he doesn't have a whole lot. He's been placing his hives. This Apollo's going for him too. If this Apollo takes this blue buff, that'll be very bad for for AMC. I agree. He uh, just hit his level five. But how he can't stop him? No, nope, he took not down at all. the hive. Uh, he has to give it up, and yeah, can't really fight for it unfortunately with that little mana. That's a you're, two, you're... almost two hundred gold difference this early, one minute and twenty seconds in. You're absolutely right that that multi potion. Uh, I think that should have been a mana potion. That would have helped a lot. And yeah, yeah, taking all three buffs just gives such an insane lead. Like we start looking at the graphs already. You can see exactly when he takes these buffs. The, these graphs are about to start looking like GameStop. I love these graphs. I miss when you used to be able to hit the T screen in older game modes, and you can be like. Oh, you could look right here. I think they just took the Gold Fury before it did the announcement. Like, the red team has taken the Gold Fury. I miss that a lot. I wish these yeah. were back in normal client. Yeah, I thought that was cool, but I guess they removed them because, like, they didn't want people knowing that without vision, I suppose. God. I don't know. I feel like now that we get the announcement for all these objectives, we should just get it. That's fair. I think he so. He dashes in. Extent. Look at all Depends. that poke. They're both, both going for Ikaval, which means Ikaval actually won't be... It'll kind of counteract the other Ikaval in a way, so eh, it depends. I think Apollo can apply it uh, really easy just because of his passive, though. Mm -hmm. uh, really quick, can we see what this Amazon Cobb is maxing out first? I'm going to guess it's the yes. two, but Let's see. I don't know. He is maxing the three. The three! I like it. I love the honey mechanic on Amazon Cobb. I think it's a really, really safe clear. Yeah, oh, it's just the it's ramping up slow too. Is that a new change? The ramp up slow? I think it's like this year. Uh, to. I don't think it's a ramp slow. I think it's just immediate slow. Or do you mean the no, scaling? No, ramp up as you level it up. Oh yeah, I, I think that was, was changed just a while back. Slow. Yeah, so as he levels that, it will get to be a stronger slow. Dang, he can't back here. Uh, there, there's no good option here, except that Apollo has no mana. Yeah, unfortunately, he needs to clear this wave, and then he will need a recall as well. He's taking a tremendous amount of poke. Looks like Apollo's able to finish his Ikaval. I don't know if AMC will be able to. Nope, they... Oh, wait. Yeah, no, he's... There it is, there it is. Was able to finish the Ikaval. It's another red buff for the Apollo. I think the, this this difference is getting to be a little overwhelming this early. Ball has Chalice too. I, I think AMC should get a Chalice as well. That would help a lot with the poke. Um, as he levels up the hives, that will give him some some nice HP five as well. Well, not the, technically HP five. Damn! But look at that poke. This is this is probably a kill or not. That shell did a lot of mitigating. He is ulting. Hello, Anthom. If he lands his ult in the center of AMC, it will kill. Nope, he does no, he not. misses. I think, he, I, I think that was on purpose because he didn't want to go into Phoenix. But I'm not entirely sure, of course. That's another blue buff. I don't think this Amazon Cobb has gotten a buff all game. Yeah, this is a perfect time to go for Demon King 2. Again, because of mannequins, you can take it just so fast. The Ikaval 2. You proc it off of non-gods. You get yep. that power, even though they don't have power to give you. What in item? <laughs> Maybe that's the change I'd like to see the Ikaval. So yeah, it only you get it only on... off of gods. Yeah, the kind of like oh the phone. We've got a we've got a shield coming out on the Apollo. Looks like that is going to be the defense item, depending on what it levels up into. Uh, I think they're a defense item for everything it branches into. I think so. If 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 it's fully maxed, I think you're right. Insane Robotics, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate that. What a guy. What a gamer, right? Nice Look nice at this poke. Oh, he's fighting in the minion wave. Is he going to clear it? Damn, that's the first blood. I don't think he had a choice. He had nowhere to go. It's, yeah. it, Apollo has a lot of mobility in the early. AMC's strength is, while he does have a good late game, 
I mean, it's a good early game. His, his strength really is in the late, uh, when he can like spam the alt and stuff like that. I'm not exactly oh. Mr. Meta, but these two these two gamers are building the exact same build as it stands right now. <laughs> yeah, I would but... say hunters have a <laughs> not so fun variety currently in the game, but yeah, they're they're pretty standard items. Uh, I don't know which shield they're gonna go into. I guess yeah, they they I... can't build berserkers, right? No, Melee I agree only. with Thor. They're gonna build berserkers. Is, oh, isn't yeah, berserkers yeah, melee, melee only? only. <laughs> yeah. They'll probably go void. Yeah. Void. Uh, I mean, could see a shifter shield. It gives a lot of power. It does. But I doubt it. Shifter shield. One thing I don't see often enough is shifter shield combined with like Aussie, because if you can stay I above the like health, that. it gives it a really good stats. Also, I don't know I like what Amazon Cobb is doing over there. There is no reason to ward that. It's it's all the way at half. There's no farm well, on the left side. They miss a wave. That's a bit of a missed opportunity there to get a little bit of farm. I think it's okay to go and ward it just to have it for when it comes up because I think he didn't have the timer at all. Mm. Um, obviously, if in a tournament setting, it is nice to pay attention to when Demon King's taken and just kind of know in your head when it's going to be up. But sometimes you forget, I guess. <laughs> I know I do. I, if I don't have the timer, I, I have no clue when things are coming up. <laughs> that damage is so good. AMC needs to run. Yeah, we've got... Oh, man, we've got the new Bracer of Radiance. Yeah, I like it, but... It certainly wasn't the deciding factor in that matchup right there. Gives him some movement speed for the chase down, but yeah, I, I agree. Um, I think Amazon Cop, once he realized he was going to die, he should have held on to his two instead of using on Apollo. He could have cleared the wave. If he had cleared the wave, Apollo would not have been able to take, him, take this Phoenix. Oh, no, he's running anyways. Never mind. He's good. He's good. I don't know. I, I think he's just going to keep starving him. Uh, when you're ahead, you need to stay ahead. Taking that Phoenix would be incredibly powerful, but stealing an entire camp from this Amazon Kabu who's four levels behind, you're just going to twist the knife. I agree. I, I agree with that. Why are they going Void Shield? Void Shield's a good item. Even if your opponent doesn't have that much defense, it gives 60 physical protections, 150 health, 20 power, not only that, but it gives you 15% pen on top of that. It's just a good item in general. Hunters yes, there don't are build a lot things, of HP. But... Yeah. That that 60 defense along with the mannequins, that's a lot of effective health where you're mitigating a shit ton of damage. Look at that. No fear. He just dashes right into him. Yep. Apollo dashing through the wave does give him his passive back, which lets him kill him so easily. Uh, I don't even think Apollo has to go for Demon King here. He, he had a pretty agree. much a full wave. But hey, might as well take it. Some extra XP and gold. Plus, it means your opponent can't take it in case they get a lucky kill. I can't dutch this. I would agree, but 15% pen is more than you see on any auto attack item for hunters. So if we just pretend, hey, you get this much pen from this item if you are within this range, I don't know. I feel keep like in mind, it's a good item. Keep in mind, if you go Executioner, it stacks with the Void Shield. So... That's going to be extra pen with that, you know? Um, is that just I, I to just clear the wave? <laughs> I dominance. guess. Dominance is a good point. I love dominance. He's he's dancing in this Bracer of Radiance. He's going to win this. I don't know what's, what's going needs to on. Run. You got to yeah. run, my dude. He's not getting out. He's fast right now. Low HP. Lift it's giving you the movement speed. He gets the dash. I don't know. I don't see how Amazon Ka how Amazon Cobb can come back from this. I will say Amazon Cobb is a really good god when it comes to camping Titan. So maybe we'll see that. You know, you can clear away from a distance. But Excuse does me. He, does if he Apollo have goes the power? On you. Does he have the power to clear a whole minion wave with just his two and honey? I'm not so sure with right the, now. With the two and honey, you should be able to get most of the wave. I don't know. Uh, there might be a few more minions that he'll have to auto down. But his fountain will be right there. It depends on if the Apollo can kill him before he gets back to fountain after clearing the wave, right? And, I mean, he's four levels ahead. That's a yeah. huge lead. He just got the Aussie. He's going to out... He's going to even more outbox every single fight here. That honey isn't touching anyone. Mama's Dragon Cup shouldn't even be out here, quite honestly. No. You, you can't fight out here. I, there, I don't see coming back from this. This might be just game right here. Yeah, now Apollo, you know, can pretty much stay forever with the Aussie. Your Titan's under attack. 
We're getting the poke down on the on the Titan. I don't know. You just see this graph. You don't see any time where this almost end Cobb had a chance to breathe. He, he didn't get a single buff all game. It's really, it's really unfortunate. Paul is is a snowball character too. If you get that snowball, you can keep it. You know. He's he's dying under his Titan. It's it's that simple. That's a GG for blue team. GG yeah, stone cutting does not count as defense. So. Yeah, good good item overall because you can get another, you know, your regular defense item on top of that. Look at the start coming out from Dudu and three multi pots. We got the Chalice of Health and <laughs> I both dance it up. I definitely think the extra potions help you with the first fight, and the first fight is so important in mirror matches, so I kind of like it. But if you lose the first fight, you're behind on a lot more gold, which is the downside. Let me actually back up a little bit. Let's play pretend. Let's say there was death's toll allowed in this uh, map. Oh God! Would we have seen one? <laughs> you probably. <laughs> death's toll was <laughs> built, like every the... game. Look at this. Look at the boxing. A little bit There's of poke some... coming out, but that Bologna has a lot more sustain than the other one. There's something satisfying about a mirror match when you use the abilities at the exact same time. It's just mm -hmm. hilarious. Ooh, fighting in the minion wave. It's gonna be a little Very spooky. Close. This, I don't know. I think Hawkins needs to play back. I don't think he knows his opponent has all these pots. He yeah, was way out out sustaining him. All of those potions ticking at the same time actually allowed him to come back and kill Hawkins. Yeah, good stuff. Now those potions have paid off. They did their job, uh, and yeah, with that red buff, the, the lead is paid off. You know, it's good stuff. I miss when normal Chalice would stack with health potion, but. Uh, this is kind of the strat that went in. That multi-pot was... Multi-pot does, yep. Yeah. One thing a lot of people don't realize is if you have Chalice ticking and then use a regular health potion, while they don't stack at the same time, it will add to the duration of your mm -hmm. potion, which is which is still good. We um, got to do in getting more yeah. farm on the left minis. Yeah, let's They're, look at the graphs. When you're ahead, you got to stay ahead. Yeah, he's a he's a nice four hundred seventy nine gold ahead. That's like uh like a tier one item almost. So it's it's starting to starting to help out. Definitely bought uh you know made more money than the mo the potions costed. So he did buy another uh, multi potion by the way. So I like he's it. gonna try to do the same thing. Yeah, I, I think see. The early that is good. That's gonna be a Ikeval on Dudu and then gonna be a stone cutting on the on Hawkins. I don't know. Uh, I, I think I agree with Thor saying stone cutting is not going to out damage Ikeval. Oh, dang. We forgot to do a prediction. Oh, we can start it. It's not too late to do a prediction. I, I don't know. I think. Hey, if you if you guys want to vote for the person that's ahead, you can do that. But if you want to vote for the person behind, you might get more points. That's all I, I'm saying. I think it's. Yeah, I think it's late. Kind of late, do a, trust me. Okay. Let's do a poll. Would we like to vote <laughs> soon? Yes. Okay. Yeah, maybe it is too late. All right. Either way, I mean, I don't mind either way because uh, it's all good. Ooh, that should have been ult out, I think. Barely makes it. The movement speed from stone cutting will help in like deciding when you want to fight and when you don't. That is always hey. pretty nice. Do, do you guys want this? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, guys, I think it's too late for predictions. I don't. As long as no. the game is okay, still going, then I don't think it's too late, right? It would only be too late if yes. the game already ended, but that hasn't. There is, it's a less than 1,000 gold difference. I say we make it. All right. I would say do it. I say do it. Do it. Let's get the prediction going. If everyone votes on one side, then it doesn't really matter because then you don't get that many. The way predictions work is when you vote, the losing side is distributed to the winning side. So if y'all vote for one side, then you're not going to get any points. <laughs> so uh, if we have I'm people gonna, voting evenly, then it's fair anyways, right? I'm going to begin making it unless another mod is making one right now. Is anyone making it? Ooh. He has a tower advantage. Counter alt under tower. The and he damage, does get the I kill. I think he's getting poked out. The oh, game's sorry. even. I was, I was accidentally <laughs> watching stream instead of uh, 
Discord. <laughs> oh, you're good. The, the game is even. I, I, it's perfect to make a prediction. This is perfect. This is such a good game. One to one. Nice counterplay by Hawkin under tower. Good tower defend. All right, everyone. I am about to begin this submission. It is only going to be one minute. Oh, uh, everyone ready for a prediction? Here we go. Also, for those watching on YouTube, uh, predictions are just a Twitch thing. You can ignore that. <laughs> I the, forgot the, this is going on YouTube. Yeah, the games are going to be kind of scuffed for YouTube, but I've never posted a tournament, and I really want to post this one. So please forgive me. I will make... <laughs> please forgive me for that. That's a Bull Demon King for Doodoo, and... That is. I don't, I don't see really him running good. out and poking that tower, but... <laughs> it's... The advantage of getting Demon King is it's XP gold, and... Most importantly, your opponent can't get it. So if mm -hmm. if Hawken gets a kill, he can't go for Demon King. So all right, uh, I do that's think we're nice. right. That's going to be an Ikaval into presumably Berserkers, and I think Hawkins is feeling the damage from that Ikaval, and he's building one himself. That's going to be a lot of swings. He's playing more of a Nemesis. Wow, what good a counter all. all. Good counter all by Hawken there. Uh, no real PRG. Our stone cutting does not count as defense because it adds up to less than 25. This was a hotly debated uh, decision that we made, but yes. we doubled down the, on it. The rule, the rule is if an item has 25 or more protections, it counts as defense, and stone cutting does not meet that requirement. Um, but I was also going to say, Hawken diving under tower there, he was able to get so much extra damage just because he had a little bit more movement speed. That moving mm -hmm. speed helped. Wasn't able but, to get the kill, but still. Um, to do sustain with that chalice is wild. And they also with the now. Demon King. He, he gets percent health healing with Demon King. He's, he's getting a lot of healing right now. Hawkins got to back up. Yeah, agree. Uh, I, Sorry, Thor, I agree. I just, I don't know. I was expecting not exactly a stone cutting into Ichabal. I was expecting maybe the Berserkers we were thinking of. But you're right. He has to get it right now. Towers are still pretty even, too. Hawkins is a little poked out more, but uh, I think at the end of the day, this is as even as you get in a mirror match. Plus, they're going different builds, thank goodness. That makes it fun. <laughs> I agree. If this was just uh, yeah. smashing their faces together and... I don't know. Ooh, look how look how even these timelines of XP and gold are getting. They Yeah, they are close. It is slightly in uh, uh, Dude's favor. Dude in. And I, I believe it's the... It's the camps he's gotten on left. It's that Demon King he got. Uh, presumably he. Uh, I don't know. I just... Th this is still that... anyone's game. Oh, for sure, for sure. Usually in mirror matches, whoever gets first blood, they can just take that and steamroll. But it's, it's, it's got a nice back and forth right now. Dark Leviathan, I agree. On paper, it doesn't steal stats, but it reduces one stat and increases another. So we can see this as a DPS steal. If you have Ikaval and your opponent does not, you're stealing their DPS and increasing your own. We're just using the general term rather than the literal term of stealing stats. Yeah, if you if you want to get real tech, like, like there's so many things in the game that if you want to get real technical with it, it's different. Like, like let's say Anubis healing, I had a, like uh, it's technically not a healing ability, right? But you're still going to see their health bar go to full health. <laughs> yeah, Thor, uh, old Ikaval stole 10 power per stack on autos back when it was a T2 item, but now it increases your power uh, and decreases their attack speed. So it's not stealing yes. power. Yes. I can but actually hover over Effectively, it is. Effectively, you are stealing their power by lowering their DPS. Another perfect alt by Hawkins like that. He has those in the bag. He is immuning these alts by Dudu and that if we keep seeing these, it might be the game. But he's getting out poked. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of interesting because Dude In is slightly ahead. So he is the one that's wanting to initiate with the ult. But obviously, Hawken counter ulting gives Hawken the advantage. So, ouch. Ooh, Whoa. Did a lot. Are they maxing, maxing out for that? shield bash? Yeah. Yep. Holy Look at cow. that. Maxed out shield bash kills Hawken. That was probably completely unexpected. Actually, only one point in the two. What a what an interesting strategy for the unexpected damage. Yeah, it, that must have been just to shock them into thinking they could stay. Yeah, because the only thing that levels on it is the damage and the the slow. So, yeah, that that was that was cool. I everyone was surprised by that damage. Keep in mind, I believe both of these players are GMs, right? 
Uh, I believe I don't so. Know anything. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I think I know Hawkins GM. I think Dudin yeah. is GM as well. You know what I want to see? I want to see some nemesis. I want to see a nemesis come up. It could happen. That's a dual uh, god. I'm also going to mention that Dudin did get a thorns. However, Hawken waited on their relic. So Hawken could go something like a horrific. He can go a lot of relics right now. Um, he could go a sunder to counter the shell. But Hawken's got options. Getting your relic second is always nice and dual because you kind of can counterplay their relics. Also, would you look at that? I'm never right. That's a void shield on the Bologna. Uh, sorry, on Duduin. <laughs> They're both Bologna. Is this a... This must be Eggsy coming out on Hawkins here? Yeah, it could be Eggsy, it could be uh, Aussie, it could be something. Ooh, barely gets Hawkins in the back. Damn, Hawkins, Hawkins was late on that counter ult. He did stun under tower and pop the shell, so he's okay. However, it looks like he's wanting to clear this wave, and Belota's chasing him through tower. He, there's no way he's suiciding that wave just to keep his tower, not 10 minutes in. Yeah, he I was going to say... He has the movement speed. Yeah, he, he could. Oh, he backstepped there. I don't know why, but that actually might cost him some movement speed. Yeah, the little bit of extra movement speed helped him get out. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, I was going to say... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, because they did get Void Shield, that does mean that they cannot upgrade mannequins. Otherwise, it will count as double defense. I said that a ton at the beginning of the tournament. Upgraded mannequins gives 30 physical defense, so that is a defense item. So I hope they remember that and do not upgrade mannequins. The way I see it, the second they have double defense and they mitigate something, I think that's when they're disqualified. If they yeah. if they build it, run out of base, don't do anything, it's fine. They can fix it. They, they have Is this the right idea for Hawkins right here? I think this it looks like it's with her all. Oh, nope. Hawkins got it. I don't yeah, think Hawkins he wins got this. It. Uh... Yeah, I say he takes the Demon King and goes on his merry way. Wow. Ooh, he ulted first. That's not good. That's not the best idea. To yeah, do ulti... is just getting further ahead now. Yeah, ulting first, unfortunately, does mean the other Blona guarantees hits the ult pretty much with right reaction times. And now that Demon King is not good for Hawking because he didn't take some Phoenix damage and it's, he doesn't have the buff anymore. She actually might be able to take quite a bit of this. I think she gets it. That's yeah, a lot of back defense. Her passive, along with the Void Shield and the Stone Cutting Sword, she takes this Phoenix. No backdoor protections. I don't think Stone Cutting procs off of uh, Phoenix, but... Uh, Probably not. You're right. Unless they I were don't remember. that were there a moment ago. I don't remember. Um, so my items are weird. <laughs> how, do, how does Mr. Hawkins come back from this? Yeah, it's that, that was probably the most unfortunate thing in this game. I think Hawkins... He's got to play it safe, get his build online. He's got a pretty solid build. Um, I think he needs to get his defense on unless he's planning on upgrading mannequins. If he is doing that, I think that's super risky because, again, he's so far behind at this point. He's two levels down, a lot of gold down. I don't think he's going to be able to get the upgraded mannequins uh, anytime soon. So I think he should opt for a, a defense item at this point. Look at that charged bow coming out from Dedouin. How ballsy. I would say it is pretty ballsy in a blown mirror because if you get disarmed, you're not getting anything out of it. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I think, I think it could be nice to have more attack speed than your opponent. Cause in blown mirrors, if you have more attack speed than your opponent, that means you're getting more block stacks than them and you're eating through their block stacks. So that's pretty important uh, against Bologna as a Bologna, I suppose. You mentioned this earlier. Both of them both have thorns and shell as their relics. I I don't know if I agree with Thorns on Hawkins' side. I think the Horrific would have been a better idea. I don't know. It's 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 back and forth because Bologna can alt to get rid of the slow, but then you can counter alt, and that's always really good. Um, Thorns is always good because uh, it does magical damage. Damn. The double alt on Hawkins Titan. dying. And that it, is that game. That has to be game. Unfortunate. Really good... Uh, Really good early game in this in this match, uh, and then Duden Duden takes it, man. GG's uh, no, all red around. team did not have two defense items, although mannequins and stone cutting will give you condition. Well, mannequins give you defense. Stone cutting's defense is conditional and less than twenty five protections. So as a group, we all decided that you could indeed build stone cutting sword.
Yeah, I, I, I mentioned the rules a lot at the beginning of the tournament. It's it's basically you ask whether an item is defense or not. Mannequins, no defense. This, no defense. This is defense. This, does it give over 25 protections? It does not, so that is not defense. And so... Dang, look at this prediction. 63 to 37. We still have a little bit of time remaining on it, but... This is kind of surprising. I do not know uh, Sir Lorenzo, but people must be very, very confident in their abilities. We'll, 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 we will see. I don't know. All right, we've got mannequins on both. Look at these starts. Uh, the exact same start as the last match. One team has the multi-pot. Oh, actually, no. Uh... The only difference is that multi-pot once more. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, Mannequins is, has been in pretty much every match. It's kind of, it's a good item, but I think in the late game it could be problematic, but not a lot of these games are getting to the late game, you know? I think the latest game we had was, it must have been the Saul one, the first matchup. Yeah, I don't think. That went to level 18. I don't think, yeah, no one's reached uh, level 20 in the matches we have spectated anyways. Double proc on the Wii. It's doing a bit of damage. Hawkins is going to be able to sustain with his two, but that's a lot of mitigations on an early Osiris. Yeah, Osiris is actually taking a lot of damage from the wave. And if he's not quick, oh, he's going to give up red entirely and go for blue buff. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, I agree. Because if you can secure your blue buff, it's not that bad. Oh, but if Hawkins comes and steals this. Does Hawkins oh. Have his, he does not have his mini ward. He doesn't get to steal, but. He moved the minion wave a little bit. I will say that was smart of Osiris to pull it to the very edge, and that actually put it out of range of Neath's one through the wall. So that was well done. Yazutan says he's going to do something crazy. Let's see where this goes. What are you going to do, Yazutan? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yes, I will try to post this to YouTube, but... Uh... It, it'll be a little scuffed for YouTube, but I'll, I'll edit it like with little things in between. <laughs> Just like the matchups. Yeah, I'll like show the bracket and stuff. Oh, sick. Uh, we've got... <laughs> we've got Neath kind of just stalling out the Osiris, not really giving him the farm. We've yeah, Osi over. Osiris knows if he walks up to it, he's just going to get rooted and it'll be bad for him. And uh, yeah, just a little scary overall. Projections. Holy moly! Mr. Yasmin drops 100k on this Hawkins. Oh my goodness. 100,000 fancy hats are on the line. Gee, Williker. Now, now, keep in mind if you bet more, yes, you do get more, but if there's not as many points on the other side, it's not yeah. that much more. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Why not? <laughs> that is already level 7 just with the T2 Ichaval. Hawkins is clearing the wave with his 1-2. I do want to say uh, Hawkins' specialty is the Neath. That is his specialty, is God. Yeah, it is. Especially this, this what you're about to see right here. The wow. all into the yeah. one. <laughs> it's pretty much an execute. Yeah. Uh, he was just sitting in tower. Osiris couldn't get the minion wave cleared fast enough. They just charged their ult all the way. Got all that damage. That was just planned. They do exactly what they were going for. That is first yeah. blood for Hawkins. Yeah, the most Osiris can do is counter alt, but then it's like you're counter alting for a Neath alt, which kind of sucks because Osiris alt is so good. Um, and you definitely can't counter alt to go in. So you would just kind of have to waste it. So it's unfortunate all around, but that's his only answer right now because he did not go beads. I think beads is necessary uh, against Hawkins Neath specifically. He could just keep up this pressure. This might be. Dang! Look at that poke. Look, look at how that good damage. that root is. He's got the mitig. He got the mitigation on his tether, but one auto after the shell wears out. There it goes. He knew exactly where he was jumping. Yep. Hawken positioned himself where, basically, no matter where Osiris went, he was dead. If he went back to the tower, he's dead. If he went around to red buff, Hawken could chase him, or the minions would get him. Uh, yeah. Just basically gave him no room to make a decision to go somewhere else, and that's exactly what you should be doing. Uh, in situations like that. I don't know if I would say this is 100% over, but this is a guy who knows his need. 
Uh, no, I don't know uh, the matchup or just Hawkins pure skill. Hawkins knows Neath very well, but yeah, no, Osiris is a good dual god. Very good dual god. Very good for getting up in your face. I just think uh, relic wise, it could become Ow. problematic fast. Look at that damage. And if Hawkins steals this blue, that's that's going to be super rough as well. I don't know. He can't. He can't get wave. He can't get blue. What what would you do here? You just have to back and lose all that defense. I'm at sorry, this defense, point, XP. yeah. At this point, Osiris is going to just kind of have to start spamming his one and two for poke as much as possible. Uh, unfortunately, Ikaval is a good item on Osiris, but when you're behind, uh, you're it's not, not as close. helpful. Yeah, you're not getting the passive, and you're not able to use it, so it does it does kind of become problematic, unfortunately. Perfect scenario. This Osiris starts clearing a wave, gets the power, maybe gets his ult with the increased 80 power. Not 80 power. Oh. Uh, I think we have a pause. Oh, this is a pause? <laughs> I think so. Otherwise, Spectator just broke. Uh... <laughs> I might need to reload. Well, I don't know if they paused or not. Everyone? If they paused, I assume they would say something, right? It's not here. Let me try rewinding. Oh, it crashed? The or game crashed? Bad. Oh, okay. Here we are. No kills happened. Uh, I would have some boost the server. SPL went down? What? I clicked back. Are you kidding me? Dude, S smite is smite down? Wait, oh, hold on. no. Are we hosting another tournament during SPL? Uh, yeah, we are. Oops. Because I, I I literally can't. Uh, there's no time to host a tournament because you SPL's know. at You're during right. the prime time for everybody. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna host a tournament on a Wednesday. <laughs> Neath's one this early just with the Ikaval is doing a half of an Osiris's health. I think this is back where we were because I did click the back button. So oh, I'm gonna see yeah, if yeah, it, yeah, it is. Yeah, so I'm gonna see <laughs> if it crashes exact, again. Exact same thing I said last time. <laughs> I was like, oh, they yeah, there's a lot of damage coming out from beneath one. Yeah, so let's see if it crashes again. That's my question. All right. Imagine I just keep going back. We just keep watching the rest of the same thing over and over again until people notice. Same thing. <laughs> it's hard. It, it looked a little different. Okay, All this right, is where it crashed. Go. All right, we're good, I think. Right? Wild. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Wait, Ooh, no, there, thank was goodness. there a minion wave? I think it's right. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Ooh, oh, hard attack over. Oh, that would be so bad. Because you can't... It's hard to ask to remake a match when you're 2-0. and oh, You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's kind of unfair. Presum I would hope it was just a spectator issue rather than a client side. Yeah, it was spectator. Because otherwise the game wouldn't keep going. Yeah, look at us go. We 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 figured out how to fix it, and apparently SPL couldn't. I don't know. I don't know. How it <laughs> but it's kind of silly to think about. Hawkins is kind of staying. He doesn't have a whole lot of mana. He can't do his ult one combo. Osiris is stacking up the Ikaval. He needs to ult, and he Ooh. didn't do it for some reason. There we go. Good stuff. He got the boosted damage. I'm so glad Osiris got that kill because now the game is more even. He definitely needed that. Let's look, take a look at the graph. How much did that give him? Look at that little step. Bop. You saw him. He was he was landing those autos to build up his power. His two needed as much damage as he could get on that. Uh, that brings it a little closer. More so on XP than gold here, but let's see these builds. Let me take a gander. Uh, we've got mannequins Ikaval into Wind Demon. I can Eight only point assume. Shuriken. I think I think that's gonna be a Poison Star. I want to see you a Poison Star on Hawken. You know, I will say, in a single defense tournament, crit is a lot better. Crit is a lot better, because the whole weakness of crit and duel is your opponent can just go, oh, you're building crit, I'll just go triple defense, you know? And then it's not good. That must be a Berserker is coming out on the Osiris, right? Um, Most likely. I would say it's Berserkers. Um, that only... What does that build into? It builds into Berserker, Shifter Shield, and... Gladiator. Gladiator? Yeah, most likely uh, Berserkers. He's committing to the auto attack with Ikaval. It's not a terrible idea. No, I, I, in the passive in Os of Osiris. It's going to get you a little further there. Yeah, because he got that kill back, uh, I, I like what he's doing. If he didn't get that kill, I wouldn't have gone into Berserkers personally. Uh, because if you're behind, 
uh, it can be it can be a little rough to try to be in your opponent's face constantly, you know. Mr. Hat, did you know? I don't know if you know this. Uh, every segment on a character's health bar is 100 health. If you need to uh, measure how much damage you're doing and decide whether an ability uh, kills, you know, I think I knew that like deep in my brain, but I, I definitely forgot about it. So every thank you, <laughs> thank you for telling me. 100 health. So if you need to measure how much damage you're doing, he alts in, gets a tower shot. He's not doing a lot of damage. So you're saying a god's worth is how much of a square they are. Yes. <laughs> and uh, chat was right. That is indeed a wind demon. So way to prove me wrong. Loose booty hole. Well, here's the thing. He could go wind demon and poison star. That's pretty popular. Yeah, that would be pretty hype. Yeah. And uh, I feel like going only wind demon. I mean, I see it now and then, but you might as well get a little bit more crit, right? A at least the crit chance itself. Yeah. No, he is rooting against Hawkins. I just want an interesting matchup, all right? Yeah. I, I could have my favorite player, but if they if they stomp their opponent, it's not as close, right? Ooh, still's that blue buff. Nice. That's uh, that's always good. Nice little bit of XP and gold. Um, let's see who gets this camp. Looks like Osiris is going to be able to clear it pretty fast with the mannequins. Osiris 1 and 2 starting to do quite a bit of poke, but uh, Neath can just heal it with one ability. Berserker's shield is going to really, really help in these uh, these longer fights, I would say. I believe it's yeah. active right now. Yeah, if you drop below 40% HP, I'm not quite right. sure. No, nah, that's not 40. It is now, but it wasn't earlier. Look, uh, unlucky. If they got those crits, I think that could have been a kill there. Osiris wasn't paying attention. I really wish they would give uh, Berserkers a visual effect. Kind of like how down. Aussie, yeah, or so, yeah, countdown would be good. Build. Yeah, that would be nice. Looks like Hawkin will take this because mannequins once again is broken. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's the wind demon. Uh, if you're hitting a uh, not stagger, a still target like that, you're gonna get your pen. You're gonna get your attack speed by the wind demon. Ooh. And there's nowhere that thing is going. Is Hawkin no is in a corner. Right yeah, he is in a corner. Oh, he, he's that. using the sprint to wait out the shell. I think this is a trap. He's going to hit the bomb. <gasps> You're absolutely right. Oh my goodness. It took so much damage. Damn. Unfortunate. And Thor, you are right. This Osiris can't build spectral armor to reduce the damage of the crits because you can only build one defense item. He can switch out the Berserkers if he so desires. Uh, but obviously that's probably not a good idea until late game. And this is a taken Phoenix. That bait into the left weave on the ground from the leap earlier, I thought this was a misplay jumping so early, but he put that down on purpose. He absolutely did. Yeah. He was backed in the corner, but it didn't matter. Also, we've got a chin size on, or kin size huh, on uh, Neat. An exe. Yeah, an executor would have been nice, uh, but Berserkers doesn't have like an insane amount of protection. It's only, yeah, 35. it's only 35. So, uh, chin, uh, kin size pretty good against uh, that amount of health. Osiris does have a lot of squares, you know. <laughs> He's built like a brick Lego house. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, Thor. I think uh, Kins is the least optimal, but I trust Hawkins. He, he definitely knows more about this game than I do. God, he's ignoring it. He's just running straight down for the Titan. Missed the root. That root would have been game. I think a lucky crit would have killed that of Osiris. Very, very mm -hmm. good. We got it. Oh, nice blink. Out. Okay, this is good for the Osiris. She gets a That's stun a too. Damage, she is so man. low. Oh, man. He gets in there. That egg and, probably did a lot of damage. Yeah, and I want to I wanna agree with this blink so much. This blink is so important because if he blinks right in front of Neath, she pretty much is forced to backflip unless she has root or something. And uh, as you saw, if she backflips, that's a guaranteed Osiris ult, And then he's back in your face again. What do you do? So that's good. That's really good. Yeah, uh, we're finally getting defense out from Hawkins' side. What do you think that's going to be? Um, I, I actually am not sure. Uh, because he is a range god, uh, Hawkins is a range god, he cannot go into Berserkers. So that means he's probably going to go Void, I want to say. Voice I, I most likely. Agree. I definitely don't see shifters, but I thought it would ask. 
Um, I will say a lot of people in chat are saying Hawken through by not going Aussie. I would say Aussie, while it's a good item, on Neath specifically, it's not as necessary because she has healing on her too. She has sustain. She has a lot of sustain with her too. So Aussie isn't like a necessary item. So I don't think that going concise is throwing at all. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, I, th I think uh, that was that's kind of a waste. Didn't really follow up with it. <laughs> yeah, that ult was a little bit of waste, I would say, actually. I guess just wanting to poke down those Cyrus so she can do more damage to Titan. Uh, Zynon does bring up a good point. Osiris's ult is 100% anti-heal. I don't know if yep. Ozzy would have really done a whole lot. Yeah. We get the two oh, active, he needs to back no out. lucky crits. Dang, Hawken, if you had an ult right there. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing. If you had saved your ult, you would have won the game right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, misses one, land the two. He's, he's stacking up his Ikeval on those minions, but I don't see him doing anything with it. I will say this is really bad for Osiris because he doesn't have his ultimate. And I think that's... that's <gasps> oh, game. that's it. Whoa! Oh, no, it's not gay! The Phoenix! <laughs> Let's go, uh, Phoenix. That was a little awkward. That was, that was so good. Yeah, the Phoenix is still dead, though, so... Yeah, the, the Phoenix is dead, but it's not game. That's the, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> All right, Phoenix, you've done your job. Interesting. You may rest now, Phoenix. Go and back to the land of tomorrow. That Titan's not taking very much damage. Those minions aren't going to do a crazy amount. No, yeah, it won't, because the Phoenix... Cyrus will be back. It might not take any damage at all, but it's certainly not going to be healing. The Phoenix double saved the Osiris because it killed Hawken, but it also kind of cleared the wave to keep Titan from taking any damage. So, Hero Phoenix. He yeah, Phoenix MVP. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to where Hawken is. We've got the Void Shield on Hawkins now, just as everyone was predicting. Uh, Ozzy yep. on the Osiris. Um, what do you think of that? It's good on Osiris. He does. He needs. He needs some sort of uh, sustain. And especially uh, fighting into fire minions. Fire minions are tanky, which actually lets you heal so much off of them. So it's, it's good. It's good here. Did you see those mind games with the red buff? Uh, Osiris is taking a lot of damage. I don't I don't know if the Berserker... Oh my god. Up. Don't try and lifesteal through that. You're just going to get crit. You <gasps> had to ult out. Oh, man. Need to have vision. vision. Okay, he does need to back behind that wall. That is the right choice because if he goes the other way, he gets ulted. Oh my goodness, yeah. He, sh he should swap Berserkers out I'm at this point, I he think. more defense than that. Unfortunately, he's, he needs Spectral, I think. What a decision. And it's how much crit is on Wind even? I believe it's only 20%. These are some shocking numbers coming out. Okay, there's Neath. Oh, she sprinted. She's but she stunned. still gets stunned. A lot of damage. Sealing the attack speed with the Neath too. He's autoing too early. The Ozzy is healing, but it's not enough. Just, he was also fighting into Fire Wave game. there, unfortunately. I, I can't game. blame him. I think he had to go for something, you know, and that, that looked a little bit promising at the beginning. Uh, but that's how it is. Good game all around. Uh, slow. <laughs> Unless We're the Phoenix pops up. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix? Who knows? Maybe we'll just break the rules and, and just break the rules. The map. Would you look at that? GG goes to Hawkins. That is our bronze tournament uh, winner. Yep, Hawkins does get uh, third place. Congratulations, Hawkins. I will send you the prize money within the next week. Uh, because again, as I was saying at the game tournament, uh, I'm having issues with payment, so it'll be it'll be one week late, uh, maximum. That was a really good game. Um... Hawkins, you played like a madman. Lights out. Lights out. Your, your, your kill under tower with the ult into one combo, that was beautiful. Uh, I can't touch this. This is actually a spectator setting we have for the walls that allow us to see over them like this. Yes, you can press U to lower the walls in spectator. Uh, on the Jade Corruption map, Hi-Rez forgot to add that uh, feature, unfortunately. But on this map, we love it because it's good for tournaments. Look at this. Uh, they're just kind of poking each other out. Getting hit by the one, getting hit by the two, reducing the attack speed. Gotcha also, runs. Gotcha Run took a lot of poke. A lot yeah. of unnecessary also, poke. They, due to when he used his health pot, uh, Gotcha Run had to use both of them. Yeah. Oh, wow. That healing from mannequins. I, I forget about that. Yes. Uh, is it a percent heal when they die with the burn? I believe it is. It is a 3% heal, so killing both minis heals you a lot. And yeah, taking uh, all of it... He's an Ami's all the way healed up. Gets the red buff. 
look at this damage. There's no escape on this Heimdall. 2-1, yeah. that, that's going to kill. Once she took the red buff, you had to place that crystal immediately to get on yeah. out of there. It, it certainly wasn't on cooldown. They definitely had the mana. I don't know why they didn't place it sooner. They should have placed it as soon as that red buff dropped. Oh, he's going for the aggressive blue buff, too. After dying behind like that and using a loud ability like a Heimdall's 2. I don't know. You got the minis, gang. Gang, yeah. something's kind of nice. Because you're taking... Not only do you get that XP and gold, but you're taking it away from your opponent. Uh, so it was a bit risky, but it looks like it kind of worked out for him. Now, if he can't secure the blue buff, that's where it'll become a problem. Crit Heim. That would be exciting. But Crit is nerfed on Heimdallir. Uh, a little unfairly, if you ask me. I believe Heimdallir did secure that. Yep. Yeah, he definitely Whenever got it. Yeah, whenever the buff is grayed out, that usually means, uh, or always means, it went to chaos. <laughs> Looks like he wants to pick it up, but he's not, he's gonna, not gonna let him. I wouldn't let him. Uh, Izanami can just go poke that wave. Also, I want to say in this matchup, uh, Izanami can take Demon King like faster than you can blink your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, the I'm, double proc cannot. Is there a double proc on mannequins on Izanami? I don't believe there should be. There's not, but she just activates her one, and it's, like, one of the best steroids in a dual setting. Combined with mannequins, really. Yeah, I trust this. I do. I think there could be a comeback. I don't think it's over yet. And also, just as a reminder, this is a best of three. Yes. This could be just understanding your opponent. I don't know how much they played against each other before. This... Wouldn't it be wild if this was a uh, story arc between these two duelists? <laughs> I, I'm unsure. Uh, Hyperlord was using his three for auto cancels there, which is nice. He can he see Izanami, which is awesome. Yes, this prediction is for all three games. Uh, nah, we could just... Do we want this? There's a lot of points of this prediction there, Thor. I think it should be... What do you think, Hat? Do we do I predictions think for all three? I think the prediction for it should be for each separate game. I okay, think it makes it more fun. We should have let each people know game. before they put 200,000 hats down, but... Oh, well. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I kind of thought that's what we're doing, because <laughs> that's what we've been doing for every game, but... Oh, well. well. I, this is our first uh, best of three. When you predict, uh, it's like gambling, okay? You, you never know what's going to happen. Gotcha on securing this red buff. Once again, kills it so fast, the Tsunami. Yeah, Izanami's like a must ban. I, I'll never uh, clap at a dominating Izanami in an early game like this because it is definitely... It's definitely the god that is uh, strong. Sorry. Uh, that makes that's like an insult to Gotch Run. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I know really what good. you mean. No, Izanami I, I is good. Anyone who comes by my stream knows I, I feel the same way. I will say the one advantage Heimdaller has is the ultimate, uh, but he has to bait out the beads from Iznami first for that to even help him. Yeah, look at that damage, it's so much. But we know Izanami does not have an ult right now. She used that for early secure on that uh, bull demon thing. Here she is. But... Oh, she... <gasps> Nice escape nice. from the what a beautiful. Oh, but she can he back? Oh, that was oh, so man. close. That was so close. I'm very lucky from the Heimdler. Unfortunately, Demon King is down, which means uh, this tower is most likely fall. not poking this. Yeah, she backs, um, but she's got a lot of time. She has a lot of time on Demon King still. Finally, the, the builds are starting to separate. We're going to see a Void Shield on that Heimdall, I'm guessing. Uh... Is this going to be a Kinsai on the Izanami since it's one defense? You know, I, I think it's going to be an Aussie. I think it's going to be an Aussie. Aussie Izanami is is really, really good. She's just poking that tower. She's getting the power from hitting Heimdallir since the tower is not targeting her. Yep. And she can hit him through the tower. She can do two birds, one stone here. If How she positions wild. herself. Yep. You know, if this if this happens to be a quick game, well, he knows to ban Izanami for the best of three, you know? Mm -hmm. That's sometimes how it goes. Heimdall is clearing that wave. 
Izanami still gets that tower, and she's back. She's coming for his back. I think that was the right that choice. Warded? Was that warded, or could they just see the backing animation? I think it was a little bit of knowing that he was right there and probably was able to see the edge of the backing animation. Wild. Look at that wave clear. It's that's that's one whole wave. I should do a random build generator tourney next. The thing with tournaments uh, like that is they require a lot of moderation because I can't have people roll for themselves because then they could be cheating. So I'd have to message everybody their builds and stuff like that. And quite honestly, it could get like super unfair. Yeah, what if it's the best player gets a, gets a good build and they just keep winning? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it could be this, fun. Look at that trade. Uh... We're talking about random builds, but Gotran's just steamrolling this. It's Izanami. It's, it's, it's how it goes. Izanami is one of my personal bus bans. Uh, when I forget about banning her, it's never a good time. Let chat decide builds? I don't know about that. I have thought about doing a tournament like whose line is it anyways, where like there's like points, but the points don't matter. Like if you pick like fun characters, you get points. If you build Mimi builds, you get points. Oh, like, like Guardians for fun. give you 50 and Hunters are like 10 or whatever? Yeah. Hmm. Like, I've thought about doing that, but if I do that, there can't be a prize. Yeah. That's the thing. It would all have to be for fun. That's the only thing when things like that are okay. If it's for a prize, you can't do stuff like that because then it, it just makes it completely unfair. But if it's just for fun, that doesn't matter. For seven minutes in, there is a 1,300 gold difference right now. I don't really see a Heimdall pulling this off. Ooh, I think he's he should have waited a bit. Demon King. I'm surprised he's not ulting her to... Oh, there, there it goes. Is. Brazil was denied. He's autoing in his crystal, and he goes all the way to red. He's backing right there. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs to do. He gets the bees. He's like, all right, I'm good. I will kill you next time. Because Heimdall that. ult is really good. Can we see that cooldown on that Heimdall ult? Uh, yes. Let me go over to him. We still got 140 seconds. 68. That's only that's 70 seconds left on that cooldown. He might be able to steal this. Uh, did he get it? No, he did no, not. But but he, it's not his. Little, I don't think he can auto her out of this. He can see her. Now is he able to chase? Probably not. His two is down. He can't slow her down. She can make it to her phoenix. We got some laughing. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, he probably should have positioned himself better so that she couldn't dash past him so easily. It's kind of difficult to do, but yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, Yamcha, we did have like a tier list, like uh, A tier and below uh, tournament, and that would be somewhat similar to a non-hunter mage ADCs. Yeah, I am most likely next tournament. That's probably what's going to happen. To be honest with you guys, this tournament's kind of a test run to see what's picked all the time and what's kind of broken uh so like you know next tournament might be a and below no mannequins something like that you know what i mean or even just like the simple all guardians all guardian tournaments i'll be honest they're not as like they sound fun but then they just become slap fights yeah i don't know i like that though uh, <laughs> it, it, it definitely becomes Hey, you land your freeze, you're winning this. Hey, you land your uh, Geb Shield auto cancels, you're gonna win that matchup. Into Brazil, Izanami goes. Uh, this is this <laughs> does, is desperation. He's not doing this to fight. Wow, yeah, he does get that's it a, to that's get a away. Crystal. Yeah, comes back immediately to come and fight this. It's nice. Um, oh, he's gonna have to give up this for. Phoenix. Wait, Phoenix oh, oh, comes. Maybe up. not. Oh. But she uh, lives. Does the invis break the aggression? Yeah. That looked bugged because that phoenix shot should have hit her either way, and it actually looked I don't like think it, I don't think it would have killed. It no, but it it looked like she didn't take damage from that phoenix shot. No, she definitely didn't. When she went into her escape, that it went right to the next minion. That that sounds bugged because she should have taken it either way, whether she goes invisible or not. Wow. Like, Phoenix mm -hmm. Shot will chase anything. You could Apollo all, and it will chase you under you. You know what I mean? Yes. I 
I, I, I would say we are lucky that that was not a game deciding uh, kill there. Yeah, it wouldn't have killed her, but uh, yeah, it just seems seems like a smite bug. Good old smite. Or maybe that's intentional. Maybe the somewhere it says, "Hey, if they go invisible." <laughs> I don't um, think so, though. Akawo, no. Mannequins does not count as defense because once an item has 25 protections, whether physical or magical, it becomes a defense item. Yeah, and Mannequins uh, Tier 1 does not uh, give enough defense to count. All the all the rules and stuff, if you do exclamation mark tourney, you guys, you can read. Okay? How do you guys do that jump bug where their, where their character A poses while jumping? I, I think you just bam jump as quickly as possible. Um, I think it's more of a spectator thing, though. Gotcha. No, no. I used to watch End Shadow, and he found out how to do it, and he would do it during his duels. Um, did Heimler? Is this, is this a concede? Did he concede? Is this a bug? Were they trying to pause? I think. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know if he disconnected. If he did. That really sucks. We will ask him. Otherwise, he just realized it was over. Um, it's possible, but why 12 minutes in when you're three kills down? They look like they're playing now, though. I don't know. Um, that was weird. That I don't know. I'm, I'll ask we, him. We what, should get a comment from them. Yeah, I'm going to ask him about that. Because, yes, it sucks. Yes, you're behind, but it's definitely... Send the, get it. There goes the <laughs> get beads. Some beads. Game beats is a small victory. Yeah, maybe it beats, but I don't see that as a victory, really. Because they're attacking through you. They're, they're still hitting your Titan. Again, this deep. is best of three. First game is going to go to Gotcha Run. Mm -hmm. um, do we have a way to get a hold of Duduin just to get a comment? I, can, I, I mean, I, I assume they're going to be in the chat in a second. Yeah, I, I agree with Will. If... If they wanted to F6, they could just F6. Yeah. We are sitting the, seeing this pretty standard start, uh, getting a multi-potion on the Kurnanos. He's going to get those double procs on his heal. And w I don't know why, but every matchup I see, one goes the multi, one goes the mana. Except this time, the Amazon Cop gets the mana potion. He's going to be able to keep his hives up. And oh, he immediately comes and snags one. Kind of yeah, sneaky. Getting that, getting that hive is actually pretty important. Um, I don't think we see any points in Kurnanos' one right now. Uh, let me check. Nope, no points. We do not. Uh, that root's strong. He's just winning this trade. You don't have your hives up right now, man. He's oh, just you chasing should, you down. You, you, you should not have gone that way. He does no. get the hive, but he, do, he doesn't keep it. Long way. He might honestly just want to back and just say, yeah, hey, he has to I back. lost the fight. Well, at least I didn't die, you know? Do we see a level 4 uh, point into the 1 on Gacha Run? Or, was, or are we keeping this aggression with the 2? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I guess he's not level 4 quite we'll yet. We'll see. His game. Uh, I see him stealing here. this. I would not try and contest this right now. Ooh, gets a hive again. Yeah, AMC having a trouble keeping the hives. I think he should put them in safer spots under the tower for now, just because it seems like Kurnos is constantly getting them anyways. Yeah, he got that Chalice of Health. I think that's a safe play. That It must mean he's looking to go late with this. Yeah, I mean, I think Chalice, even when you're behind, is good, because if you're popping potions for every fight, it, it pays for itself pretty fast. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't play Kurnonos too much myself, but yeah, I would I would max the two, and uh, nope, we got a point in the one. Did get a point in the one, yeah. It's I love the one on Kurnonos. I max it before my three. I I will it, say, like I said earlier, the reduced protections. Yeah, it's it's gonna be super good in a in a one defense tourney because uh, you just get so much more damage out of it. You know, when they don't have too many protections. Honestly, because I think it might help with the. Uh, Bull Demon King. Taking 26 protections off at level uh, 12, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. eh, sorry, uh, level 13 is when you get your max. That's a lot of damage. The slow and polymorph, I think he takes this. He misses his ult, and that's a lot of damage. Yeah, missing that ult was a little unfortunate for Mom's Cup. If he did hit it, I don't know if he would have been able to get the kill anyways. But, uh, yeah, it's, he had a few jukes there, but 
uh, was not able to get away. Has Amazon Cobb got a buff this whole game? I think this is another like clean sweep against an AMC. Uh, not yet. I don't think he's gotten a buff yet. No, that's kind of the dual strat: is you starve your opponent, like you were saying in the previous game, by taking as by preventing them from getting any buffs. Uh, Gandhi, you have not won yet. Uh, but it's close. I promise. <laughs> Look at that. The perfect sidestep to two into the wave. This guy knows what he's doing. That's It's the Curtino strat. Does kill Both the hives, hives again. Down. That's really bad for AMC. He yeah, and constantly. one auto and he's dead. Well, he misses it. The tower takes it. Does. AMC being able to live there is really nice. It uh, is. I wish he had uh, his ult, because if he had his ult there, he would have been able to kill. Uh, I can't touch this. Me and Hat are all the way across the country from each other. Yep. I would say all doing, the way, but close enough. Doing this through Discord and the power of technology. It's wild. Well, he's all, he's exactly one level behind, down to the min, uh, one minion. I will say Duden is going to need to place a ward when Steven King spawns. If I had a green screen, I would absolutely green screen me and Hat onto like the bench. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah, hilarious. I actually have one. That would be pretty funny. Another blue buff for the Curtinos. Is he gonna take those minis? Uh Metakelos, this I am the second caster. I'm a mod, I've always been here. Hi, it's me. Yeah, that Nick Walker is helping me. He's great. Looks like Ichabod from both both uh, both gods here. Pretty standard. Yep, I'm not too surprised. Pretty much everyone's going Ichabod mannequins. Ooh. But is he gonna go for Demon King here? Is he gonna oh, steal this? A... Uh, no, he's just gonna watch him. <laughs> gotcha knows he's here. Um, are we able to see what stance? Oh, he's slow stance. He's just been in slow stance this whole time. Seems that like that ult. That ult's a lot of damage. There's he's not getting out of this. Oh, he's slowed. Does he have another hive for move his feet? Nope. No. The two is gonna take him down. That's gonna be a guaranteed demon king as well because mannequin's stickable. And would you look at that? He's in the fall stance. Just like I said. <laughs> <laughs> I love fall stance on Kernanos. No one expects it. It's it's a lot of damage. Yeah, he has two points into it. Uh, he has the two max as well. Listen, I'm just saying that's what I said I would have done. Mm -hmm. And we have a light blade and balance blade coming out. And yes, this is best of three, but this is game two, and this is Gotrin's game to lose. Yeah, I think I can put that in spectator somewhere. Uh. Uh, Mr. Building State. Kill, it doesn't work against objectives like towers, but it indeed does work against a Fire Giant and Gold Fury. Anything with projections that could be reduced as a uh, targeter, I believe. Ugh, another kill. He just chases him down. Uh, you reduce the protections of anything that isn't a Phoenix and uh Yeah, anything power. you can ap apply item effects to, pretty much. Like, you can't apply item effects like Executioner or stuff like that to tower. But you can apply uh, false dance to minions just like you can with Executioner. And that's the thing, Bio. Kernanos is chunking his one. It, it's an added item effect. Uh, I can't. What do you imagine. do? What do you yeah. Do what do you do like, here? You clear the wave. Like, like we said, Gotchuron is number one console player uh, to my knowledge, and he started playing PC, and he got Captain on Mamar. So, um. Uh, this is kind of how it goes, right? Yeah. I, I don't know what I would do in this situation. It's, I guess you he could have just sat in his uh, Phoenix since the tower wouldn't kill these minions and take the XP, but you got to do your best. Uh, no one wants to F6 in the finals of a tournament like this, but if you're losing this bad, I don't know. What do you do? It, I definitely don't want to insult the skill of these players, but he's I would definitely just jumping around. Yeah, I would definitely say you want to play super far back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know, I think, man. Yeah, I would say 
if he's just gonna be uh running then we might just yeah we might as well it. just yeah. f6 here we might as well just call it because uh because that's pretty much given up and i would prefer an f6 than that yeah to be honest i i would also consider this not the greatest sportsmanship yeah yeah it's like i i understand if you're far behind but you definitely don't want to be doing that in a tournament finals match all right everybody so this is me from the future just adding in that yeah unfortunately the finals kind of did end with uh dudin just kind of running and jumping and gave up and I'm, i might not allow him in future tournaments he did get second um but it's kind of not great to see in a finals matchup it's kind of out of my control but I've done a lot of tournaments in the past where I ended up not uploading to YouTube and I really wanted to upload a tournament to YouTube. And hey, if you guys think you could make the tournament better and you think you could participate in it and just make it more fun all around, then I would say join the next one. I'm trying to do these monthly, though they're almost always towards the end of the month on a Saturday. So uh, yeah, just, just join the Discord. I announce them in the channel every month. Um, and, and yeah, if you would join and, you know, maybe not jump around in the finals, uh, you know, it's, it's no shame in F60 if, if you think it's truly, truly lost at that point. That That is better. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tournament. I hope to get some better tournaments for you guys in the future.